good, everybody? Corey G Fitness app. We are back. Member cast number six with Mason Upton, who got second place in the 80-day transformation. But just by wearing the shirt he's wearing, he's showcasing how long he's been around the Max Effort Mafia, which is basically the entire time, especially by that T-shirt. And so, Mason, welcome to the show, and congrats on the transformation. Hey, uh, Corey, thank you. Uh, I knew when I was choosing the shirt for the podcast, I had to represent how long I've been around this and uh, to show that, you know, just because it's year eight, whatever it is, uh, you can still get amazing results. And, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a little time to get through this process and and figure things out. <laughs> for sure. Give us a little background on yourself, Mason. Um about your profession, how, like, as once again, you kind of mentioned how long you've been around the content, but you know, a little bit of background and kind of what you do for work. And then also why this year seemed to be what made this next level transformation. Yeah, for sure. Uh, to kind of go back in the day for around the content. Um, I was an original Twitter MP follower. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Since, since college. Uh, and then, after college, getting into work and everything. When I was, I was doing like some personal training and stuff. But when I was doing my workouts, I was following, <laughs> following the MP workouts. So, yeah, uh, I've been around it for a long time. Um, and then once this branched off and the site started, I think I was signed up with that too. I had I'd done some other things. I'd done some like CrossFit, done some different types of programs, tried other things out, but mm. it always came back to here because. I've had the most results and uh, just the most sustainability and now have like the full community of, of people to, to be involved with. And it's just the, the best atmosphere to be around for it. So uh, about me though, um, before uh, my current job, I was a meat cutter. I was doing some blue collar stuff and then uh, uh, basically I set my sights out to get into the fire service and um, oh, yeah. got hired about nine years ago. So been in the fire service for about nine years. Uh, and this past year, uh, recently promoted uh, to captain. And oh, then, heck uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a journey for sure because I didn't expect to do it as soon as I did. Uh, but I think a lot of the steps I learned in this process and a lot of the content I've consumed and uh just the things i've learned along the way kind of helped me prep for that get into that role and be ready for that role so it was sooner than i was actually planning uh but kind of all the stars aligned and um just you know this past year has been uh, a busy year uh, a background story on it too i remember when i was uh actually looking at some other departments uh before we had merged i was looking down in california and doing some stuff and I was testing and uh, I remember getting personal messages from you because like I had done this physical test and I kind of like hit the bubble like, okay, this is a, this is a good score for your physical test. But if you want to like get the interview, you have to, you know, up the game the next day because you only get two shots when you're coming from out of states. It's like you get the mm -hmm. practice round, which is the first time I had done it. And then the uh, final round is the next day. And like the next day I dropped like a minute 30 off my time. Uh, oh, I was yeah. listening to, uh, man, what was it called? It was on Spotify at one point. It got removed, but, uh, all the, uh, the, the <laughs> flamethrower screaming, flame yeah, flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was like it. in the morning, just listening to that, getting hyped about like, Hey, this is I honestly think I remember that message, Mason, because I think I remember you telling me how well you did. And I was like, the separation is if you go the next day and absolutely like murder everybody, basically, for lack of yeah. a better way. No, it, it was a score that got me the interview and uh, moved me along in that process. Ultimately, I didn't end up going down there, but it worked out the same because our department up here merged. I, mm. get, I went from a small department to a big department now. We're one of the biggest in the state. And... Uh, got promoted within that process too. So a whole new role, just a really awesome experience for what I've been through. And, uh, you know, I can attest that the fitness and the, the learning content has, uh, really helped me excel, uh, in the career. So that's awesome. I mean, first off, congratulations to be a captain this young and just like, I like how you said 
well, I didn't think it would happen, you know, this early, but I would argue that your habits have been, you know, mostly in line for so long that that's what per- perpetuates things to happen a little bit early. It's like you make your own luck type of stuff, right? Right. Like you've been such a consistent or at least curious in the con- in, in, within your fitness and discipline and, and learning that then, like you said, it prepared you for that opportunity. I, I love that, bro. I think it's a great lesson. And just like, that's literally how it works, Mason. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, just, uh, there's a lot of uh, truth to like the positivity and the content that you consume just on a daily basis, uh, yes. projecting into your life and leading you forward into what your next goal is, what your next uh, opportunity is. And so, yeah, you kind of create your own opportunity with that and uh having the right mindset is is key to that so and being a captain and having a transformation like this as you're as a leader that's got to say also something to the department and the guys and gals that are paying attention to what their boss is essentially <laughs> like displaying right i mean yeah. talk about kind of leading from the front like that and what that you know um because i always have this whole concept of like the sauce, meaning like the pop is in the circle around you when you become one of the more disciplined people, right? Because you start to yeah. impact um, people in your immediate circle, but also just more people are paying attention than most people realize, Mason. Right. And I mean, to kind of go back on that, uh, I kind of changed things around. I went and got a different Instagram page, just all focused towards like fitness positivity. It's mainly the community members and then Mm -hmm. people from the fire service that I work with. I just kind of cut out everything else that, you know, was there because I know there's a lot of like judgment and negativity that can come from other sources. I just was trying to cut all that out. So I just wanted to be in an atmosphere where I could post my daily stuff, kind of my small little wins, my, uh, my lunging, my food that I make and just like show a process of like, Hey, this is what it takes. It didn't just happen from day one to day. It just didn't just happen. These are the things that I did along the time. And, you know, it was a small group of a following at the time, but then as like, as I've reached to now, it's, it's kind of funny because my goal in the contest was just to inspire one person. And if I could, yeah, you easily did that, Mason. <laughs> yeah. So if I if I could just inspire one person that I work with, because like yeah. health and fitness is super important to the fire service, and sometimes yeah. we get away from it due to the, like the stress of the job, and you know not dealing with that stress in the right ways, and so just inspire somebody who's thinking, man, I feel a little out of shape, or I want to get back into it, and you know I'm not out there just like. Hey, this is what I did. This is what I'm doing. I was just waiting for somebody to reach out to me and you know, it's happened now. And now I've heard some more like side conversation and like people making comments and like, Oh, Hey, this is, this is what he did. Why don't you go reach out to him? And so that's a cool feeling because then I can go and they, they are wanting to make that change. They can reach out to me. I'm not forcing it on them. And then, yeah. you know, Hey, this is what it did. This is what I did. I can show you like, I have week one through week 12 or whatever it was of what I did, uh, show them the app. And I know I've already had one person sign up and oh yeah, I'm still getting more, you, you can tell more people will talk cause like people will make comments. I'm like, I didn't even know if they follow me or anything like that. Um, but they, I work with them and they know about it. So clearly the conversation has started. So yeah, that's um, awesome. And, and ultimately that's what I want to do is like help others kind of, get to the feeling where I'm feeling where it's just like once you get to feeling good. Oh yeah. Once you start dialing those consistent habits, like you, you see how much more free time you have to focus on other things. And then you kind of start stacking other habits on top of those beginning habits that you, you start with because, um, at the beginning of the contest, it was, uh, I was definitely out of shape and it took a little while. There were some tough days in the beginning, but, in those tough days, like it, you can see the results at the end. Like you, you learn so much more than just the physical transformation. So I tell you, like all the stuff that you're saying, Mason is what I want for everybody. I mean, that's like my passion behind the whole app, max effort, the whole scope of like doing the content, the daily fires, talking, making, you know, people aware of the lunge and learn 
because when you wrap it all together, you can feel so fucking good and confident yeah. and in life and be so much more vibrant, youthful. It's, it's a process. And I think like what I'm trying to really uncover as a trainer, right? Or just whatever you call me at this point in my maniac ways uh, is to, <laughs> yeah, is trying to figure out like, how I can get more people to really buy into that process that is not easy. Like I am not preaching a quick fix by yeah. no means. And I think that that's what um, has been a little bit of loss most recently is I'm trying to find a way, like I think the pump thirties are a good option because they're bringing people into the fold. It's not a huge time commitment, but they're super difficult. It's been kicking my ass. And a lot of people that are on the app that have been pressed for time or have just moved to those, which has been awesome. But it's like really getting people to say like, man, I could feel so much better and to just commit. So I guess, was it purely the contest? Was you finally just fed up? What kind of put you to, what kind of took you over the edge to say, all right, I'm going all four pillars all in. I've been around G stuff long enough, fucking time to just go all bets off. Let's, let's do it. Like what, what was that kind of like, uh, kind of mind frame of change? Um, man, that's a, that's a long developing process for me. So hopefully my answer to this can help others kind of see that maybe you don't need to take as long as whatever it was. I think my, one of my first contests was 2018. Okay. So I haven't been anywhere inside the top 50 since 2018. So I've wow. made it there and, you know, I've done different things in the process. And I've learned each time and I've learned from the winners each time. So mm. by 2018, I was like, hey, this is cool. This is a contest. I did like anabolic fasting. I was lunging like a couple days a week, you know, for <laughs> years. Hit, hitting it. it on the treadmill, which is, I'm not going to knock treadmill lunges because I do like them uh, yeah. with an incline and I, it pushes a pace. But at that time, I wasn't pushing pace. I was just doing it because you can kind of hold on <laughs> and go yeah. build out your business. So yep. I, I didn't, I don't think I placed that year. And then I was like, okay, I saw what these guys did next year. The next year I did it, I think maybe it was 2020 or 2021. Um, I was like, all right, I'm going to dial it in. And, you know, I lunged every day and I did anabolic fasting 101 and I got into the top 50. I'm like, oh man, that's, that's crazy. And then uh, the next year I was like, oh, I'm going to dial this up even more. Cause I had seen what uh, Travis had done and yep. He didn't just lunge. He lunged with intensity. He, he lunged with a purpose. Hey, Travis is fast too, bro. Like I've been to the track with Travis. And unfortunately, when he was here lunging, I, I was that was kind of early in my process of being kind of banged up, like with a couple of injuries. So, but Jake was lunging with him. And uh, and you know, Jake has had had multiple world records or whatever. Oh, yeah. And I come back, I'm like, yo, Travis legit. He's like, oh gee, he's legit. He pushes the pace big time. And so he his intensity is definitely a huge key why he had that transformation. Oh, for sure. And and so those are the little tidbits. So like he pushed yep. the intensity, like he went he was second the year before, and then he became first. And you mm -hmm. I, I could see it on a daily basis how he was pushing himself. And it's like, well, I was kind of just going around the track, you know, 20 minutes, just kind of sitting there doing my thing and was never really pushing it. So then I added that in the next year, I was like, okay, what can I do? And that's where I kind of got into the strategic cheats, pushing the lunges, yep. uh, not like in the beginning phases of this process with AF 101, sometimes you get in there and you're like, oh, Friday's a cheat day. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that yeah, is a yeah, cheat day. Yeah, in the day. Just, <laughs> yeah, it's a day. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, I can do whatever I want. And it's funny because you still get results but it's not like not the same. contest results or the sustainable yeah. results. So it's just like, I started dialing that in more and then like gets me to this year. Like, cause that was something I learned from Dalton. He was doing the strategic cheats. He was like doing the lunge mile. Like the yep. funny thing about the community is you start seeing what other people are doing and you kind of just bounce ideas off each other and you kind of challenge each other. And you're like, how am I going to be that? person that sets that next example and so that led yeah. me into this year where it was like okay i started out at a at a worse spot that that happened due to uh the whole transition into the new position i was in i moved to a station that's the busiest station uh in the the zone in the county and so my sleep was suffering by the end of the year it was just really stressful 
and I wasn't dealing with it in the best way. And so it's just like, I kind of laxed on those habits and like, that's what this, this year setting the example was like, I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to start these things in the morning because a, a lot of time at the end of the year, last year, my time was super interrupted. Like if I didn't do it before work and I went there, You're done. we were running like we're a station that runs about 12 to 15 calls in a 24 hour period. So my time is given to other people, given to the community, given to the people yep. that are training uh, to get better. And it's not my time anymore when I go there. So I had to take my time back and do it before work. And that was the big thing this year. Um, I like that takeaway. I had to take my time back. Yeah, it's it's truly if, if people don't realize it, like the getting up early, I know it's difficult, but uh, you can attest though. to it. You can attest to it. It's just one of those things where when you have that time, you can focus on yourself. There's nothing else distracting you. And then um, then you have so much time in the rest of your day to do other things. Uh, I think it's like extremely necessary. I, I've been just operating this way for so long. I don't even know that I could operate another way. But I think it's freeing once you di- once you just dial in and say this is just way to, what it is. Look. Most of what everyone wants is right on the other side of some discipline that they're just like neglecting to be involved in. And I think the non-negotiable get up time is, is a guideline that has only steered me one way my entire career. And it's been a trajectory that's went up. Like there's nothing negative that's ever come from it. Or if I'm super dialed on any type of like certain goals that aids it. It, the in, uh, the interruption part, pe- I don't know if people understand how distracted or interrupted they are. And that oh, those yeah. two things are massively um, what have led to people not getting what they want. And when you operate like you're talking about, a lot of times you get exactly what you want. And yeah. I would argue that happened to you, although you got second, but still. I don't know. I think you're just trying to keep me so like I have to come back and do come something. back next year and murder it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, uh, but on that too is like, you know, you if you're gonna give like part time effort, you're gonna give part time results, right? And so when you yes. do those, the way you do like the one thing is a catalyst is how how you're gonna do everything. So. Mm-hmm. The way you lunge in the morning is how, you know, you're going to approach your job, how you're going to approach your family. Breaking things into little small wins and little small habits, you're going to continue to build uh, an overall product of a person that is going to be much better. And it all started with me in the morning doing that habit of getting to the track before the gym opened and then going to work. Because the one day, the one day I missed in the morning, there was an ice storm or something. We ran about 20 something calls. Pipes were breaking all over the place. I was at work just thinking about, man, I gotta get my lunges in <laughs> all day. And I got it in probably about 11 p.m. at night, like just because it was like, I'm gonna do this. Yes. And uh, I gotta get it in somehow. But it was almost like pain for that, like, hey, you didn't get up this morning to go do it. And so here's how your day's gonna go. And you're gonna be thinking about it all day. Um, I love that. Yeah. I mean, that's. That's the accountability to yourself to try to be great, bro. Like that, to me, that's, that's everything. Talk to me about, you, you mentioned it early on and I didn't address it, but the community aspect that now with the G social and like, you know what you're going to get on the app. There's not a bunch of other random stuff. It's just real specific to this. Do you feel like, I already think I know this answer, but do you feel like that's helping the process along for some of these people that um, and yourself, like during the transformation, you know, there's other people all over the country and world following the protocols and just that interaction. And I've seen you obviously interact there quite a bit. Um, I, I love it personally. I think it's so much easier for me to interact and look at forms, but talk about maybe that change of the app. Cause I think, I think it's pretty significant and more and more people are starting to take part in it. Oh yeah. I mean, the app has gone through its, uh, you know, it's cycles and, and, and it's, it's metamorphosis basically. And like the G social part of it is awesome because somebody new comes in and they have a question. There's a consistent basis of people that will come in and answer. You are going to come in and answer like to have that kind of interaction. I don't think you can find that other places. And I I know you can't find it other places because I have done a lot of other programs and different things and they just 
do not, they don't work for me. It's not what fits in my schedule. It's not what fits. It doesn't, not how I operate, but like here, mm-hmm. somebody can come in and be like, Hey, this is my meal for the week. Am I doing it right? Or, Hey, I'm, I have a question on this workout. Mm-hmm. People are quick to come answer. Like, so you're not waiting around to get yeah, an answer. Awesome. People are there to, to help. And it's, it's positive. And if somebody is also like making excuses, oh. people are going to call you out. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and so I love that too, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, no. And, and that's, it's not in a derogatory or negative man. way. It's, it's a respectful way. Like, Hey, respectfully, you just need to execute and you need to stop making yeah. excuses. And, and yeah, that's, yeah. You know, so you're either executing or you're making excuses. That's that's a big thing. And so um, the accountability aspect of it, I think, is big, and it and it's all done in a, the right way. And you know, if if it's not something you're about, uh, I'm sorry, you're gonna grow with that. And sometimes you just have to be told, you have to be told something like to get you to self reflect and be like, am I actually doing what I can, or am I? Uh, being accountable to myself because sometimes people aren't. <laughs> well, and we've all went through that before, right? You just came off of that and and turned it around completely. So it's like, I, I like that also because there's a lot of OGs that are in there that have had quality results that want to help. Obviously, it's easy for me to be able to go in there and scroll. It's like us having our own Twitter, basically. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Without the algorithm. <laughs> so <laughs> it's been... Um, is there anything, Mason, that you can offer to the people on the fence that, you know, look, they think I'm half nuts. They see all these transformations. They're kind of listening, but it's like they want to make a change, but they're just honestly, a lot of people are overwhelmed by the app because there's so much content. Mason, we're trying our process. We're trying to do a better job of simplifying it. Danny's trying to spell things more out as an editor and to make the, and really handhold the process um, a little bit more. But to some of the people that are like on a fence of the process, um, and you've been around for a long time, kind of what would your advice be? Because we know we can help more people. For sure. And I mean, I could just go back to even this year, even though I've been around a long time, but like the first week of this year, when I was doing lunges, I got outside and I'm, I'm from Washington. And to wait for a nice day to start or to wait for the perfect conditions to start, I would be starting in April or yeah, May. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so if you're waiting for the right time or circumstances to to start, you're never going to start. So yeah. just take that, start, and then figure it out. You know, things are going to be hard because my first week I did a kind of decent lunch time. It wasn't my usual times. And then the next three or four days, I had been off lunging for about a month. I've been off I had a good streak before, but I've been off for about a month and holy cow, my legs just like just bending, you know, my knees down to touch the ground. So sore. I was going to like 30 minutes, like consistently days in a row. It just took so much longer because my legs were so sore. And then I watched back my videos and it took about until like the day 10 mark where I started dropping times down again Mm. and getting back to normal because it's going to be hard and like, you got to know that going in, but if you treat it like doing hard things, like a muscle, like you're going to grow. So you got to do those hard things at the beginning. You got to be sore. You got to be eating the way you're eating and just know like doing those hard things as you do them day after day after day, you're going to build that brain muscle of what it takes to, to get consistent results and then treat each day like a small win. Hey, I got up, I did I like this. That. I worked out. I ate. I ate well. I'm back at it again tomorrow. And I think the the final thing to say to that is, you got to take 100 percent accountability for yourself. And yes. so when you come in, you have to be honest with yourself. Hey, I got here because I was eating like crap. I didn't work out. I was being lazy. Once you're honest with yourself, uh, you can be fully accountable. And then once yeah. you're fully accountable to yourself, you can be accountable to the others, to your family, to your coworkers, to whoever. And But you have to be accountable to yourself first. And I think the aspect of the community is we can help do that yeah. um, as a group. And you just have to know it's going to be hard at the beginning. Once you get past that couple week period, you start to see those wins. You start to realize it. And then 
80 days down the road, you have this fully new product that hopefully stays. And that's yeah. my plan is to continue to stay at this ever evolving product that doesn't go back to where I was at the start of the year. Yeah, of course. Amazing. Thank you for that answer. It was very good. Uh, what's your two favorite uh, Max Effort products? Well, one is a uh, recently released the, I heard it Endure. called Endure. Is it Endure? Yeah. It's Endure. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I, I think you guys asked for some beep feedback not too long ago about any other products or something. And I was like, I would like an electrolyte something because I was using another brand of, of, of sure. something. And uh, I was just consistently doing that because I like to sauna and do those kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when that came out, I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get that. It, it's great tasting. Thank you. It works. The components of it like very good. Perfect. And then try and creatine. Uh, I don't know if that's switching or if it's going to go away. It's just the monohydrate. But I've, yeah. I've, I do creatine daily. And um, for more aspects than just muscle, there's like so much more research coming out about Fun. the mind and everything. Mm -hmm. And yep. like, I just know that it's vital to, uh, now and then to later on in life actually. So, yes. Oh, the, you know, what's crazy about creatine is, uh, I mean, it's the most studied supplement ever. Right. I mean, I, I started, I asked for creatine for Christmas when I was 15. That's how much of a muscle head I am, bro. <laughs> like I've been taking it forever, but you know, Ender, which has a play on the letters, right. And, uh, we were really happy about that. That was driven a lot by Dustin because Dustin's in that world where it's, you know, heavy conditioning, sauna. But we've seen a ton of fire people uh, or fire men and women. We've seen a bunch of people that um, construction workers that are utilizing it. So there's a huge demo for that type of product. Probably I was maybe a little unaware of because I've been amino recovery every day during the fasting for so many years. That has a small um, component of hydration, but nothing like this product. This is like full blown that for that market and that, and I've been using, I've actually went to one scoop of amino recovery post-workout and then one scoop during the day or one packet during the day of Endure. And so I've shifted my protocols a little bit, but it's, yeah. Um, and I think with the way that we eat, um, we don't hold a lot of water anyway. And I think that actually like my body feels a little bit different having that actually like a little bit more um together just because i'm probably not as dry as i was running around you know so yeah i'm, I'm a big fan of that product too excited about it so appreciate that support yeah we get more uh fire service people using it that'd be amazing yeah i i used it the other day we like i've, I've gotten just some new opportunities and so learning to be like a, a burn instructor and so mm. i'm just there stacking pallets all day in a burn room like going in and out and in gear the whole entire time which mm. is weighs heavy holds in heat and sure. i was having that I, I went to that day because i was just like i was just going through my water but i knew i was just losing so much because the rooms are so hot i was losing yeah. so much sweat and like it just helps and i've learned more about like you said the hydration just water doesn't fully hydrate you you're actually mm. losing so much other stuff in your sweat and and throughout the yep. day that you need more than just water. Uh, and I've learned a lot more about that. So what well, if you go through 800 lunge and you're working in fire service, you're a hundred percent. You need a product like that. There's no yeah. way. Cause you won't feel, especially as running as lean as you are. Anything else that you can think that you want to share uh, about the process to the community, just anything in general. Uh, yeah. It's something that you touch on often is, and through your books and through the, the app and everything is you've talked about knowing your why, and, yeah. um, I think before with me, it was kind of superficial and I didn't fully have a why that I could fully grasp onto. Mm -hmm. And so I think people need to go back and if it's reevaluate that, what is your why? Because I, yeah. I went to like being about the contest and doing all this stuff and I've kind of turned it into for me, like as you know, all companies and all departments and everything, they have like a mission, vision, values. So I've kind of structured like that for myself is like, what's my mission? And mm -hmm. my mission for myself is to stack daily wins to create a better man for myself and my family. Love and because um, my, you know, the vision to that is I'm committed to learning, progressing and building habits that will create a better man, husband, father and leader in effort of establishing a bountiful future for generations of my family. That's that statement. Wow. 
And the values that. that go along with it is grit, respect, accountability, consistency, and evolution evolving. And so I can look at that on a daily basis and know, hey, I'm in this next phase of my life where I'm planning on starting a family and everything. And so that is something that is going to stick with me of like, who do I want to be for the kids to come, for my wife, for, you know, my, my career where I'm at with, with people as a leader in my position. When you go back and look at that, I'm like, okay, that sticks a lot more. That makes me want to go. It's real. Amazing. Lunge in the, in the rain eat yeah. healthy, have a better life. And so wow. it's, it, it's, it's real. So take an evaluation of yourself. If you're on the fence and go and really evaluate what your why is. Cause I think sometimes people don't have it strong enough. And if it's not strong, you'll, you'll lapse back into bad you'll habits, break. everything like that. So I think that is key. And I, I know you preach it all the time, but <laughs> sometimes like it just, for some reason it doesn't stick. It takes, you know, hearing it, hundred times and you're yeah, like, of course. Oh yeah, that's what it means. Okay. And it finally clicked. You know what, though? What, what you found Mason is that when those times were tough, you leaned on the why cause it's real. And so I think that I've been trying to get that across for so many years. Here's the other thing I realized people are coming to me cause they want abs or they want to get in shape. They don't even realize they need this other part. I, you, I even switched it. I was leading with that part and I think it wasn't, Cause it's not, people aren't ready to hear it yet. Like they start to work out. They start, they're like, why am I relapsing? Why is this not working? And it's like, it's cause that part's not strong enough when it's strong enough, just like it has been honestly for my entire adult life with this, trying to change generations and teach, you know, my kids and, and also even teach the older adults in my family. Like it's so strong, bro. Like I can't give up. Like right. I have a shitty day from time to time, but the reality is like, I got like a different fire. It burns different, which right. is why I think I've been able to attract um, people that want, that want to think this way because that's just how I am and have been because my why is so strong. Right. And, it, you know, a lot of people kind of made it, I think maybe, I don't know, like hokey from time to time when you say stuff like that. But it's really just a mission statement for you as a person. That's exactly right. what you just said. And I like how you talked about it because, yeah, each – uh, each house kind of has their own one or just like fire service in general. How did, how did you, how did you say that? M- mission, vision, values. And like every big corporation, every big yeah, company, true. they have it too. So that's how they operate. But some of them are typed by AI and some of them mean something to you. Yeah. So yeah. you can see the ones that are like, they brought in consultant and made it for their company. Or and you can see the ones that actually truly mean something to a department yeah. or a company and they actually live by those values. And so so good. I need you to type that out on on G Social and post it. Because oh, I will screen sure. I will screenshot it and then put it on top of your before and after and post it up because that right there it hit all components. Obviously it's it's super meaningful to you, but everybody needs to have what that is for them because it, like uh, David Goggins talks about the cookie jar like there's things you're going to have to lean on during the process of why you're trying to be that person that you're laying out. And, you know, and what I would always lean on is my vision of how I wanted to operate, how I uh, visualizing, how I was changing things in my family. And really everything that I'm living right now is all the stuff that I was hoping was even possible. And by putting those, that work around it magically, which with work, you know, I had the opportunities to create some of these things, but it's because every time I got super fucking hard, I just went, you know, what, what type of guy am I? Am I the person that's going to change all this? Or am I the person that just gives up? And what, what do I have to do? Look inward. What am I willing to do? What, what do I got to get better at? How much more do I got to work? You know, I got dealt a shitty hand, but we all have that to some degree. And I just couldn't rest on that. So I think that, you know, however in your feelings, you are the person that's watching about, Oh, well, I got a bad metabolism or all my mom's overweight. Uh, We all got a million of these things. You know what I mean? we got to get past all of them, set our mission statement, and murder it like Mason did. I mean, that's that. I think that was really, really good, man. Yeah. And that's so, so You talk about feelings. It's kind of funny because I heard something recently. It's like your feelings aren't a choice. Like how you feel isn't a choice, but your behavior, actions, and thoughts are a choice. So Thanks. you like, yeah, you may feel bad. You may feel a certain type of way. 
but yeah. how you approach those feelings is is a choice. So, yeah. Um, Dude, yeah. you're 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 in it right now. Oh. You, you are in it, bro. I love it. You sound like a captain. Like you sound like a captain that got abs right now. I love it. Uh, but that's that's coming from lunging and listening sure. to stuff and like what's good about the group too and like giving suggestions. I've asked you for suggestions before, like about books, like leadership mm-hmm. books, and you know, just surrounding yourself with that content is going to make you think more like that. So, yes. um, it, Agreed. You, you find role models through that too. Like you may not have the best role model in your life or growing up, but I found role models through you, through the community. I, I think a lot of people in the community are role models to me and I want to be sure. that person in the department. Like you don't just get, call yourself a role model. You have to earn that. So, yeah. um, you can find that through books. You can find that through podcasts. Uh, it doesn't have to be somebody at home. It doesn't have to be somebody around you. There's plenty of them all over the place that you can find. Bro, I got a gang of them on this side. Got oh, yeah, Andrew, Car- sure. Andrew Carnegie right now, right there. You got Arnold behind me. I got Dean Martin who grew up in the same town I grew up, which is by Frank Sinatra. Like, you know, There's a lot of people uh, that I locked on to because of their content or what they inspired. I believe you have to keep that stuff in front of you a lot too, which is why I like the G social because it's, it's active in those kind of realms, right? Because there, dude, today I'm wearing this sweatshirt, uh, to keep motivated. This is the first sweatshirt Louis Simmons ever gave me. It doesn't even have a West side dog on the front, only on the back and the arm hits. Like you don't just, you couldn't buy this one. Like I, I had a big squat early when I went there and he threw it to me and I was like, Oh shit. I actually yeah. got it. like in Columbus before you could buy a West side sweatshirt or t-shirt. Like that was a big deal. If you have one, like you couldn't just right. go on the internet and buy one. Uh, muscle Island, uh, has been an unbelievable project for me because I'm learning so much. And it, and it reminded me that I'm this guy, I'm this guy that takes, uh, on big tasks, believes in solutions, is willing to put the work around it, is willing to take the risk for the opportunity to have, family memories at this level, hopefully business leverage and build wealth. And it's like, you know, I, um, I purposely put things in my site, things I wear. It's constant. Like a lot of people don't even realize that about me. It's all very strategic. Um, and it's all reminders. All of my tattoos are reminders of where I come from and how I operate from my great grandfather to the trailer, to the Abraham Lincoln quote, to the coal miner crest. Like it's all stuff to remind me the path I've been on, how I continue to be there if I if I stay in these processes and to continue to daydream what's possible, man, and the impact through, like, hearing your stuff, dude, to know that I had even one ounce of, like, you know, part of this to try to help you, he- like, what I'm hearing is what I know is what winners are, bro. It, and not only winners, but also, like, happy people. Like, happy, successful people with vision, like, to me, that, that it made my whole day, Mason, because it started in 2018 or even f- earlier than that. Yeah, I think you, but, even before that, for sure. <laughs> I know, because you, you're talking Twitter workouts. That's like 13, 14. I'm, like, I'm from the what's in your sack days. Yeah, man. That's I mean, it's been around for a long time. So it's amazing that all these years later that there's still – value and then you went over you know over the top to take it to this level so i want to commend you on that your curious nature to find what that statement is that will take you to the next level i think everybody has to do that which i think is great advice and yeah man it's just um it's really cool uh to be able to get to know you a little bit better and hear kind of your perspective on this stuff so i appreciate your time man this is a dream come true man like uh like i said i've viewed you and everything you guys have done there, like it's, it's a role model to me. And, you know, I want to be able to be that same person for somebody else. Yeah. And, and you are. Uh, and so it's just like, yeah, this is, this is awesome. This is better than, I mean, money's cool and everything, but this is like the ultimate, I, this is awesome being on here. So, uh, yeah, no, uh, last question I always have, is there anything else that I can help you with currently any other questions I can answer anything you're curious about anything you want to know more about it's like homies talking like anything that you got me what else can I help and I will offline obviously too but anything that you know uh, I can be of value currently oh man this might go outside of fitness but uh no no, that's fine there's no there's it, it could be any any which way okay well since I've seen you know I follow you 
your kids are doing great. Your family's doing great. Um, if you're going to start out a family, maybe a couple tidbits on like what you wish you would have known when you started and like steps to set up like my kids financially, but also in the sense of creating good people and yeah. to follow along. I, I kind of know some of it where it's like you lead by example and what you do. Cause I've seen it, yeah. but like just one or two things that yeah. you were starting a family, what you wish you could go back and just do it right away. I think especially financially. Yeah. yeah. Well, up. two things, the good people thing, right. Is always the number one. And I think selfishly, I believe that the lifestyle that we're displaying showcases a level of discipline and with success and opportunity and that you're willing to work for it and that the consistency. And I will tell you that my oldest, who's now going to be a sophomore in college, which is hard to believe, I kind of impressed the training on him early and got a little resistance. And so I would like, we're talking like seventh, eighth grade. And so yeah. I'm thinking, oh man, like my kid don't even want to lift weights. Like that's like the, that's like <laughs> the worst thing for me, right? Like if you put a, a multiple choice, I'm picking that one. My kids don't like to lift weights. What yeah. are we talking about? So I realized that, okay, I'm a lot. Uh, that's an understatement. Like meaning like just crazy, consistent. Like I love it. It's my job, but I'm also intense. Like all those things. I know those things about myself. And I was like, his personality is more like his mom's. So a little bit more reserved, not as like, he's, he's evolved more my way as he's created more confidence. But I kind of pulled back. And then I started noticing his friends were asking a lot of questions though. They want to train with me. They, Hey, why'd your dad got a check mark? Yo, why'd your dad got abs? Like, and then I started thinking, okay. So all of a sudden I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be helping Alex at the house. A couple of the kids from baseball team want to come. They're like literally eighth grade. Two kids came consistently. It changed the entire dynamic. Right. Every one of those kids ended up being uh, 315 front squatters. 405 plus back squatters, mid four deadlifters. Not all, any of those three played college baseball. They're all good baseball players. That's what they were doing it for, but they all were uh, varsity letter winners. And then it led to all these D1 studs I got now because these guys got so much better. They were JV light varsity guys and turned into number one guys, um, at least in our town, right? And that was, I was so prideful in that. And then they all got hooked. They all, right. their, their gym they know is old school. They don't know anything else. Right. That's their gym. It's gritty. It's real. I'm here. The programming's, uh, you know, what I, I value a lot is, is right. They had crazy results. So then I saw the other two kids, like my daughter uh, doesn't play sports anymore, but she's here working out a couple. She drives now too. She's here. She back squatted 160 weighing, you know, 120 or 115 <laughs> or something. My youngest one is in the football and a little bit more into it, but he watched his older two siblings come here. And so there's a couple days a week where they'll all three be here because they want to be. And that, and AG's interning with me with, uh, with athletes right now to see if this is something he wants to do for his living. And it's all because of what they saw. Because when I tried to push it, it didn't work, Mason. But I'm okay. seeing these other things within life. Now the questions they're asking, the things they're seeing that, Maybe I do that other parents don't do their around good, bad, or indifferent. It's just the way that we operate, right? I'm not tooting my horn in a certain way. It's just like, this is the path I found. And so I feel like if you can consistently show them the, what we believe as parents to be the right way to operate and then empower them to think anything they want to do. See, that was one of my main things my parents hated their fucking jobs. Yeah. I just want my kids to like what they do, dude. Yeah. And if because I went and did this, they can go to college or not go to college, whatever, to do what they are passionate about and want to do for their life. Everyone has to work. Like, that's just what it is, right? right? Yeah. And I just didn't want my family to hate their fucking lives anymore. Yeah. And so that's number one. I know that was long-winded. Number two, I started giving them stock as Christmas presents when they were like, probably like seventh grade, sixth grade. So we would do all the, pri you know, all the regular presents and then dad would give him a share of Amazon. And then I would take them to the financial planner, which is Joe, who I've always talked about because he helped me a ton. And I would have them sit down as they would deposit it in their, their custodian accounts. And then if we would have a profit on one from time to time, we would sell it. And then I would go there with them and say, Hey, what do you want to buy? And Andon, 
my youngest, he was like, I, I like GameStop and I like whatever. And he ended up buying shares of that on accident before it ran. <laughs> now, I knew GameStop was dead, yeah. but I never did any research. So we sold it when it was like $60 because I was yeah. like, dude, this was like $5. It was a terrible pick. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and it ran to like 300. He's still mad about that. Yeah. But what he did was he had made $2,000 on what he purchased from mm -hmm. a, and he went and bought Toyota stock, Nike and something else and Boeing. And so he still made money on that. So like we've had uh, a lot of discussions along that because I never had those discussions. Oh, the sure. one thing I've heard most recently, I really like though, and I wish I would have known is there was a guy I just saw a video of that he purchases a rental property for each kid when they're born. And then has it paid off in an 18 year over a 30? And so in theory, when they graduate, they have an asset that already cash flows. That's an interesting concept. And then I've been more on the dividend side. Somebody said once to me, you can't really, not, very often can you really pass the business fully if you're just gone, but you sure can pass the, the stocks and the dividend checks. And so, you know, I've been more on that side of things, but I think having something young that's financially based, even if you don't know it all and just know the basics, but it's represented, I think it's really important, man. For and sure. so those are the two things I'm probably the most proud of is that I'm trying to change the trajectory that my family likes what they do and trying to change the financial IQ part of it. And I think those were the two things I was probably the most upset about when I was a kid. Awesome. There you go. Yeah. So hopefully that helps. For sure. And then the go. last little thing, thing. Sure. Do you plan on doing 40 and 80 again? Just because uh, second's sitting a little heavy on me. So I just, uh, I don't plan on getting towards a 80 day status ever again. It wasn't. So I, saw, so... I saw what those 40 guys looked like. They were a little bit, you know, a little bit of a bulk in the winter and like got yeah. shredded. So I know, you know, I think I need to do a hybrid. Like that's what I'm really thinking about. Like what is the real time frame to keep everybody engaged? Um, but not too much. Cause you know, like some people can look at 90 and go, I, I'm not going to do that. I need to, yeah. I need to find that right amount where everybody says, you know what? I can do this and make a change. So we're still debating that, okay. um, okay. whether we do something in the middle and then go back. To, um, we're thinking about, you know, are we going back to a car? Are we doing like, we, we are going back and forth. Um, uh, Travis's year was the most successful in the amount of people that did it. Right. Um, and so I'm really looking at a lot of the stuff that we did during that year, because at the end of the day, the more people we can get to do it, the more chances we got at changing the most people. And although there was, uh, I think about 900 people that did this last one. So, I mean, you got second out of like 900 people. That's pretty awesome, bro. Oh yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like it feels pretty good because there is, yeah, there was last year where like I, I took it. I was, I think I even messaged you. I was like, Hey, did I mess something up? Like I, yeah. I put in a lot of work last year and it just didn't work out. I know there's a lot of, it's very competitive. And so and it's just so all over the place too. It's oh yeah. Really like, and I was just like, like a bodybuilding show. Where, and I apologized yeah. later. I was like, Hey, you know, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I don't know. I was like, man, I, I just put a lot into it. I want to yeah. represent like the community. Yeah. And like, I knew for a fact I did everything, the four pillars, like, and so mm -hmm. I was like, I know I represent what a true person that is fully involved in this is. So that's why I was like, how did I not play? <laughs> so I was all, yeah. I was like, okay, I get it. And then when Dalton won, I was like, I know that guy represents like to a T, like everything you stand for. So I was like, okay, it's all good with me. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like Dalton won that, like, that's the guy that's out there that but you use you know, it as like fire to come back with a killer transformation this oh, year. Oh, for so sure. That's, that's it's exactly what it was. It's like, you know yeah. what? I got to let that go. Yeah. It's just, you know, and I know, I know it's tough. Like, how do you go? Everybody I look at in those top 10 and everything oh, we're good. are awesome. And then like, I know in the top 25 and probably in the top 50, they, yes. they probably feel the same way. And even if they didn't make the cut, like they have oh. that feeling. So they got to know that like, We've all been there like, hey, I didn't make the cut this year. What else can I change? But yep. did I improve? And I think that's what you came back to me with like, but yeah, you improved. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're right. But because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have the same answer every because I get that all the time. And I'm like, oh, hey. I'm sure. 
Uh, I, I, you did better. Like, but yeah. there's a, there's 300 people that did really right. good. So it's like, it's, it's a very challenging process. I always tell people put a lot of time into what you write too. The more we know about you, because look, a lot of people lost 20 pounds and got abs. You know what right. I mean? Like the good thing is we've changed a crap load of people over the last 10 years. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like the results and the ante are, uh, they keep on getting better. So yeah, I'm trying to decide what we do. Uh, and it's just like all with in mind how many, you know, how many people can we truly change? And so, um, all right, well, I got to go back to figuring out how we're selling supplements. Mason, oh, for sure. I appreciate you. This was an awesome interview. The community is going to love it. I loved it. I think it's going to inspire more people. And just congratulations, man. Man, Hey, uh, once again, thank you for doing what you do. And uh, it's awesome, man. I, I, this is a dream come true doing this and uh, hope I can represent for people going forward. Yeah, and hopefully you'll come see us sometime. Yes, yes, definitely. That would be awesome. Thanks, brother.